Hello, good morning. Um, I hope everyone can hear me. Just right. Okay. I'll just put down my earphones first. So I'm Shardal and Bayona from the Tourism Promotions Board. And um, I'm really happy to see everyone in person once again. And I'm here to provide some updates on uh, how we are delighted to uh, welcome more guests in our country once again. So for starters, um, uh, allow me to further welcome you through a short video clip. So the country's international gateway is the Ninoy Aquino International Airport and it has been gearing up its operation since the opening of the international borders of the Philippines uh, early part this year. Uh, those who haven't been to the Philippines, our uh, main airport terminal is located uh, conveniently near uh, main spots of Metro Manila. In fact, uh, it's just right across uh, Newport World Resorts. It's a complex with international hotel brands such as uh, Hilton, Ritz-Carlton, Hotel Okura, Sheraton, and Marriott. Uh, but uh, Marriott uh, built its only convention center in Asia in the Philippines, the Marriott Grand Ballroom. And aside from our uh, main airport, we also have international airports in Cebu and, and uh, Clark. Uh, the international airport in Clark um, features a new design, which actually earned a spot as one of the finalists in the pre-Versailles architecture and design late last year. And the Philippines was actually one of the first Asian countries to open its international borders early this year. And the Philippine government uh, pushes for advocating pleasant tourist experience, not only for foreign guests, but locals as well, so to the different destinations of the Philippines. So today, uh, the Philippines is fully opened to fully vaccinated tourists from all countries throughout uh, the world and uh, visitors to the Philippines should only be uh, fully vaccinated and uh, they just need to register in the One Health Pass uh, and present a proof of vaccination, confirmed hotel booking and uh, return flight tickets. So that means there's no longer need to quarantine once you arrive in the Philippines unless uh, you are not fully vaccinated. So we no longer require as well RT-PCR tests uh, for those who have uh, at least one booster shot and of course a full vaccination. And the latest travel guidelines is, uh, can be found in, by visiting our web-based app that you're seeing on screen. That's the philippines.travel website. 
Uh, this is also one example on how the Tourism Ministry and the Tourism Promotions Board uh, try to continue to improve our services to tourists uh, through technology and provide ease of travel. So early this year, we actually hosted the uh, World Travel and Tourism Council Global Summit. We hosted around 600 foreign international guests, and uh, there were also around 10,000 uh, virtual attendees of the conference. And uh, we just uh, had the delegates conduct an RT-PCR, and uh, fortunately during the event there were no cases reported, and we're happy to be able to Welcome once again, uh, international guests to the conference. So I'll share with you some highlights of the WTTC Summit. Good morning and welcome to the Philippines. It's wonderful to be here in person with all of you. WTTC's mission has been to highlight our sector's economic and social value. As your host of this 21st edition of the Council's Global Summit, we gladly receive you with warm smiles and our world-renowned Filipino hospitality. So the hosting of the WTTC Summit allowed, allowed us and our tourism stakeholders to know that we can successfully conduct uh, in-person international events again. So we think that the high vaccination rate of the country and uh, help somehow help stabilize the conduct of MICE events to the country. And I'll just give a rundown of uh, some of our destinations that are ready to cater to MICE events. And of course, top of the list is Manila, where the WTTC Global Summit was held. So it's uh, where most of the international hotels chains are located and our uh, large convention centers that can cater to big events and even uh, smaller events. We also have a uh, north, northern part of, the, uh, of uh, Manila is the city of Baguio. Uh, it is suitable for smaller meetings, workshops, and seminars. And if you like to integrate nature and art into your uh, event Baguio is actually the place to be because it has been designated by UNESCO as a creative city for uh, crafts and folk arts as it became part of the UNESCO Creative Cities Network. So here are some uh, photos of the destination. It's also famous for its uh, pine trees, uh, traditional weaves and uh, strawberries. Next is uh, another promising destination is the uh, Clark Freeport and uh, Special Economic Zone. Uh, it used to be a site of the U.S. military base in the Philippines, but uh, presently the government has been uh, developing it and converting it into a dynamic hub for business, industry, aviation, and uh, tourism. Your other photos of Clark and uh, this slide also shows the new airport terminal of Clark that uh, was just opened this year so that uh, we can cater to more local and international guests and then there, there are also international hotel chains such as Marriott, uh, Hilton, Swiss Hotel who have uh, made their investments in Clark and opened uh, early this year.
So there's also the twin cities of um, Ilocos North and Ilocos Sur, which are our cultural and heritage destinations. It is home uh, of uh, three UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And uh, here are some photos of uh, the Ilocos Sur and Ilocos Norte region. And uh, if you'd like some uh, adventure in your uh, programs, it also has a, a home of the it's a home of the sand dunes. You can go sandboarding and try the four by four vehicle in Vigan. And they also house a convention center that uh, complements its uh, classical heritage spots with uh, classic interiors. And a dream destination among locals as well is uh, Palawan. It uh, most popular destinations within Palawan is uh, Puerto Princesa, El Nido, and uh, Coron. Uh, these are some photos of uh, Palawan. It's uh, known for the for its biodiversity as it houses the Puerto Princesa Subterranean uh, River National Park. It's also another UNESCO heritage site. And another uh, popular destination is Cebu. Uh, it's a prosperous port capital in the country and retains landmarks from its 16th century uh, Spanish colonial past. It's a conducive and versatile destination for in incentive travel groups, uh, meetings, and uh, large conventions. So here are some photos of uh, Cebu. And Cebu's neighbor province is Bohol. It's popular for its beach resorts as well as natural and cultural uh, attractions. It's known for uh, its unusual uh, geological formations known as the Chocolate Tales. And another attraction in Bohol is the Tarshir, the smallest primate in the world. And it also is... Uh, takes pride in its homegrown uh, Lobok Children's Choir. Uh, this choir performs in various international events. Here are some photos of uh, Bohol. And another uh, favorite destination among tourists is uh, Boracay. It's uh, what makes it different from other beaches is its uh, powdery white sand. And it was uh, developed uh, recently to, uh, to, uh, reno to make it more uh, welcoming to guests. Here are some photos of the properties within Boracay. Uh, this was the destination that the country closed off to, rent, to rehabilitate, rehabilitate uh, its uh, surroundings. But now it's uh, ready to welcome guests once, once again. And last but not the least is uh, Davao. It's one of the most progressive areas in the south, so it's best to hold events here from medium-sized uh, meetings and conventions, exhibitions, and incentive travel groups. It's known for its um, vast uh, natural and cultural attractions. So here are some photos of uh, Boracay, uh, of, I'm sorry, of Davao. So to sum up, allow me to play this short video, video clip. We are delighted to open our doors once again to welcome you and host your event. 
We are excited to see you coming together from across the world. Together, we are weaving a better future. The Philippines is ready to deliver a momentous event, providing the most conducive, safe and ambient spaces to hold your meeting and conference activities. Combining first-class amenities and flavors with state-of-the-art technology, your safety is our priority. Global standards in health and hygiene are in place in all facilities. Guest protocols such as temperature checks, hand sanitizers and physical distancing markers are being implemented at all times. As an awardee of the Safe Travel Stamp, the Philippines is committed to make this a worry-free and pleasant experience for all. Together, we enjoin the world to make tourism alive and thriving once again. Feel the warmth of Filipino hospitality. Mabuhay and see you soon. So that will be all. Um, we hope and uh, look forward to uh, welcome you in the Philippines. So we at the Tourism Promotions Board remains your point of contact for any requirements for uh, MICE groups or tourists. And uh, you can reach us through the email address shown on screen. So thank you and mabuhay. Okay, thank you. I, yes.